My name is Nico and this is Cooking My Way and today we're doing an apple tart. Come find me on the web at www.cookingmyway.com. Alright, to start off here I just have a sheet pan and I'm going to put a little bit of non-stick cooking spray on there. I'm going to lay out a pre-made pie crust. I'm just going to roll that out. I'm using pre-made just to make this easy. This is the first time I've ever done this. But you just want to get that on your, your sheet pan there. And then we need to dock it, which means just take a fork and poke some holes in it. You don't have to poke as quite as many as I did. I got a little overzealous there, but you know what I mean. Then we need to break down the apples. And to start off, we're going to peel them. So just get a peeler, or you can use a knife if you're that good, and just take off the outside edges. Then we need to break them down. So what I did was just cut off each side of the apple um, around the core. And then I took a spoon and I just took out the, uh, the seed part. You can get an apple core to do this if that's what you really need to do, but uh, let me just tell you that a spoon works just fine to, uh, to get the job done. So then we want to slice these apples into very thin slices. And we want them thin so that they cook nice and evenly and um, try to get them all about the same size. We want them to be able to fan out nicely on the, the tart, so the thinner the better here. Um, as you can see there. So to start off with I have my tart here or my pie crust. I'm gonna put down a couple of tablespoons of sugar on the bottom of it. This I use uh, this is a turbinado sugar. It's a raw sugar and it's uh, pretty tasty. So you want to get a couple tablespoons down the bottom. Then we need to put down our apples. Now you can make any type of pattern you want to here. Um, some people do two rounds of fans. Uh, it just depends on on how you want your tart to look. Um, leave some room around the edges because, as you'll see, I'm going to be rolling up the sides to kind of give it that that rustic look. Um, but there you go. Then just crimp your edges in, and then I'm going to put just a little bit of sugar over the top, and then around the sides of the tart here and into a 375 degree oven for about 40 to 45 minutes it's going to bake now I took about a half a cup or so of the apricot jam and I'm just boiling it for about three minutes I just wanted to get really liquefied and kind of cleared up and once my tart was done out of the oven what I'm going to do here is just take a, a pastry brush and I'm just going to rub it on it while the tart's still hot It'll help it uh, get in everything while it's still hot and just you know move around where it needs to. Make this part look pretty. I really didn't on this one. I just at this point in time I just wanted to get done. I was kind of tired. This was a little bit later in the day. I would probably next time take this jam and um, push it through a sieve so that it was really nice and fine. Um, but it, it it adds a little bit of flavor and it just. Uh, it made the tart look a lot better with just that sheen on there. At least I think so anyways. And then once you're done with that, just put it on a, a pie rack or a you know a rack to cool off for a little bit. Unless you want to serve it nice and hot, then you know go ahead and serve it. Here's what it looks like when it was finished. It was really good. Give this one a try. If I can do it, you can too. And again, come find me on the web at www.cookingmyway.com and have fun out there.